Hello again, this is part two of a series on uh, solving simultaneous equations. We started last time by looking at this problem and we solved it a couple different ways. And I also mentioned that you could do this using matrix notation. So I'm going to keep going here and show you how to solve this using matrix algebra or linear algebra. Now linear algebra is an entire field of study all into itself and it gets very deep, very interesting stuff, very powerful stuff. We're going to just very uh, uh, use just the very, very basics and most of what we're going to do is really more about notation than anything else. Okay, So let's write this out as a matrix equation again. We originally had this written out this way, okay, where this was a matrix, a vector, and a vector. And the matrix is composed of the coefficients of this equation. So the matrix is 3, 5, 4, and minus 4. That's not a very good 4 there. Let me try that again. That's a better 4. Okay, so that's what this looks like. That's the coefficients of this equation. And notice that the x's and the y's are in the same order in both equations. That's important or else you're not going to get these numbers in the right order. Okay, x, this capital X, is the vector of all my unknowns. And my unknowns here are x and y. That's what I use, capital X. I didn't want to get confused with the little x and the little y there. So that's x and y. And this is equal to another vector, that's 2 and 1. Okay, so far this is just notation. This isn't, I haven't changed the problem any at all. I've just written it down in a slightly different way. Now, I'm interested in the dimensions, how big these matrices are. And when you write out a dimension of a matrix or a vector, you do a number of rows by the, I guess I'll write, yeah, by number of columns, RC, row of column. So that's 2 by 2, because that's two rows and two columns. This one has two rows and one column. This has two rows and one column. So that's two by one and two by one. All right. Now this is this is interesting here just from a, a bookkeeping point of view. The nice part about matrix algebra is that this equation, which is going to be a second order equation, there's two variables. Once I learn matrix notation, we write the equation down in the same notation no matter how many variables it's got. It doesn't matter if this expression has two variables in it or a thousand, we write it down the same way. And that's part of the power of matrix algebra. Okay, so the way I solve this, if you remember, is I write it out this way. I multiply both sides, or essentially divide through by A. Now in matrix notation, you don't actually divide through by A. You multiply by the inverse of A. It's a very subtle difference, but it's important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it out this way. And if I knew what that was, I could multiply these two together and I'd get the right answer. Well, I'm cheating a little bit. I know what this is. Next video, I'll tell you how to figure this out. For the time being, just understand that if you type that matrix into your uh, programmable calculator, your graphing calculator, or a program like MathCAD or MATLAB, or I think maybe even Excel will do it. But there's lots of programs that will invert a matrix for you. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this out now. Because I've already done this, and here's my sheet over here, because I've already done this, I know that th this inverse right here is, let's see, um, 1 over 8, 1 over 8, um, let's see, 5 over 32, and minus 3 over 32. Don't worry about where this came from. Watch the next video. That'll tell you where it comes from. Trust me, if you, work, if you take the inverse of that, you get this for the time, for now, okay? Next video, learn how to do it. For now, just believe me. But don't believe me longer than one video. Okay, so there we go. That's what this looks like. Now, all I got to do is figure out how to multiply those out. And again, ma mathematics doesn't care what kind of numbers you operate on. Math uh, some form of multiplication is defined. I can multiply real numbers and I can multiply complex numbers. 
and I can multiply matrices, and I can multiply fractions, and I can multiply polynomials. Math doesn't care. It only cares about the details. And the details of multiplication of matrices and vectors are a little different than uh, the details of multiplying things like polynomials. So that's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to leave this here, and I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to show you how to work through this. Okay? So we're almost home. We've almost got an answer here. Now, when you multiply a matrix and a vector, remember we've got 2 by 2, 2 by 1, 2 by 1. Okay? These inner numbers have to match. Now, this matrix could have any number of rows and columns. For this example, and for most of the examples I'm going to give you, this will be square, so the number of rows and the number of columns is equal. Okay, that num interior number matches, so we're good to go. Then the, the size of the answer is going to be that, 2 by 1. And that's what that is. So that's where we're coming from. Now, to get the first element here, the, the top one, I'm going to multiply across there and down there. So I'm going to multiply that times that plus that times that. You work across here. Take the product of that plus the product of the next one. Right? So I'm going to get 1 over 8 times 5 over 32. Okay, in this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Multiply across there, down there. So the next one is going to be, uh, let's, hang on, let me try this again. Totally messed that up, didn't I? 1 over 8 times 2 plus 5 over 32 times 1. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Okay, so the next I'm going to do this. So 1 over 8 times 2 minus 3 over 32 times 1. Okay, there we go. That's what this is going to look like. So across there, down there, across there, down there. So 1 eighth times 2 plus 5 over 32, and 1 eighth times 2 minus 3 over 32. All right? So let's see, that's going to be 2 over 8 plus 5 over 32. We're going to simplify this in a second. So I know that divides through, but we're going to mul uh, that doesn't matter right now. Okay, well, 2 over 8 looks like that must be, what, 8 over 32 plus 5 over 32. Now we're getting somewhere. And that's also going to be 8 over 32 minus 3 over 32. And guess what you get here? You get, uh, let's see, 13 over 32 and, let's see, 5 over 32. And that works out to be exactly that right there. So we just showed the solution vector, the vector is x, is equal to the answer that I wrote up to begin with and equal to the answer we got in the last video. So in the next uh, little video clip, I'm going to show you how to go from this matrix to its inverse. And there are several ways, and I'll show you a simple one.